Greetings, this is pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson from Get Your Sax Together. This is Welcome to My World Wednesday, my usual video blog, and this week I'm going to be doing an arrangement on Sibelius, printing it off and taping it ready for the London Dance Orchestra gig on Sunday. So, if you like what you're seeing and you think it's a lot of fun, please do subscribe and ring the bell to get the notifications for upcoming videos. You'll see links on the cards at the end for my other free sax lesson videos. And in the meantime, let's get to the vlog. Yo, 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 good morning. All right, what am I up to today? Well, I'm doing something that I love to do, which is do arrangements, which is another string to my bow. So let's have a little look at my setup. So today I'm working on an arrangement for the London Dance Orchestra, which is an overture that we're going to play at the start of our shows with a medley of various tunes in it. So I'm running Sibelius off my MacBook Air here, and I've got the big screen plugged into it. Then I've got my little um, keypad adapter, which is really useful for using Sibelius. I've got my MIDI keyboard there to enter notes. Obviously very important to have coffee. And then I've got the old school piano. Disney hits. Busted. Let it go, let it go. As you can see from the screen behind me, I've already made a good start on this one. So I'm going to keep cracking on today and then I'll get back to you at the end of the day and we'll see how it's going and then maybe I can play it a little bit. If I have finished it, I can then show you how to print off and tape parts, which is all very exciting. Have a little close up on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do I close up? Well, just move closer. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the arrangement, look at all this music, yada yada, and there's the end. You'll see that Sibelius plays things a bit rubbish. Mel hates it. What, what like, instrument is it? Well, it's for trumpet, to me. <laughs> trumpet, <laughs> tenor sax, <laughs> piano, guitar, bass, and drums. It's for the London Dance Orchestra at the NED on a Sunday. It's about seven minutes long and it's a medley of numbers to showcase the band. Now my vision of this, which I think is quite cool, but um, some people might think it's quite a knobby, is that you've got an imaginary person and the whole overture is like the history of jazz. Well, That's sort of cool. elements of the history of jazz. So you start off with Gershwin, Rhapsody in Blue, when... Um, classical music was getting jazzy mm. and then it goes into American in Paris and then you can imagine that somebody goes into the jazz club in the 1930s and there's Duke Ellington and then you're into the, the um, heyday of the swing era of the 1940s and Glenn Miller and then they come out onto 42nd Street and then they go into a, a jazz club and you've got Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie playing Night Genesia and then we come out of that and we've got um, so what, Miles Davis, like the modal 50s jazz stuff. And then you come out of that and you go across the road and you're in, um, you're on Broadway and you're going to um, West Side Story and we've got that. And then to incorporate where jazz went after that in the future, it goes into a remix section with like beats and stuff like it's a sample. And then it rounds off and goes back to Rhapsody and Blue to finish, like a bridge structure. <laughs> That's all the instruments. Trying to do a pro video here. Um, and then if I go in these tabs, this is the individual Ooh. part. You see, I take a long time in these parts. You do take extremely long on these making parts. Making sure that everything just looks absolutely mintos. You so, spend way too long on these parts. So what I thought we'd do is, I'm gonna print off this part, and then 
I'm going to show you how you tape up the parts and yeah. I've got special paper as well. And it's not white either. It's it, beige, isn't it? Well, it's like, yellow. Yeah, it's like, like off, like beige. tan, sepia, ivory, I think it is actually officially. Yeah. Because it's easier on the, on the eye when you're reading music, you see, if it's not white. Let's get this up onto the printer, Apple P. I'm still old school, I still do Apple, not Command. Let's just go across and make sure we've got the right paper in the printer. Welcome to the office. Okay, that's good to go. Let's get my uh, music preparation kit. I say kit, it's actually two things. <laughs> okay, the two things are Wait. tape. It's it's 3M Micropore Surgical Tape. How wide is it? 1.25 centimeters, that's the vital thing. I don't know what that is for Americans. Half an inch, there you go. They're all about inches and stuff like that. Oh dang. They? I'm like a millimeters guy. Okay, so yeah, I've got the tape. Love and I've got the razor blade. Now, this is a six pager. This is an epic seven minute piece of fully composed music. So there's six sheets. Yeah. All right, that's page three. Two more. Oh. <laughs> three, three big six. <laughs> look at that. Don't look at me, look at that. Ooh, perfection at its finest. Ah. Beauty. This video's like almost 100% blooper rule. I'm not very good at being a camera person. <laughs> The first thing to understand is that when you fold it like this, you want to have the inside sticky edge of the tape inside the fold. So stage one, lay out the first page. Stage two, put the tape. Can you see the gap? Yes. Tiny black gap there. If you tape it touching and then you fold it, it'll go. Right, razor blade. And that. Boom. Ooh, why don't you just use this? Because you can't get that a little... This is page three. That one's going to fold like that. That one's going to fold like that. Therefore, oh, so it... that on the back. Oh, I thought you were going to like do it like a whole... like a book. Um, I do might you... do the piano part like a book because that's going to be a bunch of pages. One went for the American audience there. Got a bunch of pages. <laughs> Don't think going to be watching this. <laughs> oh my god, what an idiot. So there's the back. Done. You ready? Watch this. Ooh. So look, because I went shh, I've now got a perfect edge on my tape, so I'm not wasting any tape, because that edge is going to go in there. Just it a little bit there. Two, Two three, three, shh. You've got one more chance to shh. Oh. If you have wider tape, you're going to start getting into the staves. That's nasty. Tiny air gap. See that? Right, here we go. Shh. Look at it, it's flat as a pancake, and that's a six-sheeter. I've got my bars rest at the end of there. So I reckon when I get to here, what I do is I tuck that under. Okay, three bars rest, no problem. Ingenia, over we go. Four bars rest at the end of that one, no problem. Boom, end of chart. Okay, so there we have the finished product. And I can't wait to hear it. So on Sunday, I'm gonna go and film with the Ned and record this and let you know how it goes. In the meantime, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, please do subscribe and ring the bell on your notifications and then you'll get told every time I release a funky, fun video. If you'd like to see more fantastic content and free saxophone lessons and following me around like a nutter, just say bye and please. Bye! God, that sun is bright, isn't it? Woo. Okay, let's have a little look at my setup. Oh. Blinded by the light. My idea was this kind of romantic notion of having a, who cares what it, my flippin' notion is. All right, you seem quite close. Not too close, are you? <laughs> and they go into it, what are you doing? I want to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's rubbish. Turned Why am I out. holding this like, <laughs> such an idiot. First, what are you, what are you filming? Shoot this way. This is where you can start getting. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha